Who's that? How frustrating was getting back in there today and having to watch that again or yesterday? <laughs> Man, uh, it was definitely frustrating, embarrassing, um, disappointed as this could be, you know. But um, it's also a little bit motivating to see that a lot of our mistakes were um, self-advised. You know, there were things that we could fix. So um, if we're going to take anything good from it, it's, it's that, you know. And so we're just going to go in, keep working, and get them fixed. I'm trying to ask this as simple as possible. Just what happened with some of the angles and stuff that – Take into the pool. Yeah, um, I couldn't tell. It was a lot of different things. Um, guys, maybe not knowing exactly where they are in the fit. Um, maybe guys feeling like you know Deuce was a great player. There's, I mean, there's a thousand different things, but um, it just came down to us not executing well, and it's, it's that simple. Now we just talked to Guy, and one of the things he mentioned was it almost feels like uh, you guys needed that loss yeah. in order to kind of shake you back to reality. You kind of get that same sense. Um. A little bit, yeah. We definitely had, I mean, we had to get something. Uh, obviously, things weren't going the way that we wanted to, and honestly, happier that it happened now than later. So, um, I mean, the most important thing is that we learn from it, you know. So. How do you improve physicality during the scheme of a season? Week yeah. Four? How do you improve as a team to be more physical? Um, I think it's something that you work on every day. Um, and I also say that I don't think that it's something that um, we lack. I think it's something that we probably – like, it's something that we pride ourselves in, but it's something that we just didn't bring at a high enough level on Saturday. And so um, that can't happen. You'll have another quarterback that can run from TCU. Mm -hmm. Talk about stopping the quarterback run game because obviously, as you pointed out, mistakes or whatever kept you this week yeah. from not doing that. So. Um, it's very important. we got to fit it up right. Um, we got to get our numbers right. And, you know, sometimes the numbers aren't going to be perfect. It's not going to be one extra guy in the fit. you got to whoop a block and make a play. Right. And so – um, I mean, it's that simple. You know, it's easier said than done, but we got to get it done. Wasn't that a rare game where you didn't win a lot of those one-on-one -on -one battles that you've won most of the time? Yeah, I mean, you could say that. There were some situations like that. But, um, I mean, more than anything in that game, we misfit a lot of stuff. I mean, there should be guys right there waiting on the quarterback, like kind of drooling at the mouth for a TFL sort of deal. Um, but we just missed a lot of fits. Can't happen. Deshaun, I know it's still early. How does the response, the first 48 hours after a loss, this one compare to you know, what you've been through in the past here? Um, Whether it be from the players, the coaches, yeah, anything? All losses suck quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but I think that this coaching staff is just very intentional about like fixing things, um, which is always the case in the loss. But I think that this coaching staff just really, it sticks out to me how much it means to them that we never look like that again. And so, um, yeah. Does that it's more mean, like, like drastic changes? Or? I'm sorry. Drastic changes ahead, like position-wise for people, and I don't, I don't think that's the case. Yeah. Um, I think it's just more so like, like I said, we got to execute. I mean, a lot of the things that were going on in Saturday were our faults. Like a lot of things that we just, like stuff that we know how to do that we did not do, and so um, can't happen. What's been your message to the young guys as somebody who's been through the adversity of yeah. dealing with an early season loss before? I mean, been here before, you know. Um, most important thing is that we stay together. You know, we got to lean on each other. Um, and, like, everything that we still want is still out there. You know, as cliche as it is, like, it's true. Um, we're the we're the writer of our own fate. And so um, whatever happens from here on out is up to us. So. Go ahead. Oh, oh. The, the importance of just a fast start, we didn't see it. Yeah. In the last three games, you guys have come from behind. The other team scored first. No. Just complimenting football, just a fast start of within the whole program. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very important. It's something we got to do better here in practice. And so um, I think it's something that we emphasize this week and we start to really put a pinpoint on it. Um, it'll translate over into the games. But it's not going to happen if we don't we don't work on it. Deshaun, I saw you uh, covering down the field a little bit more uh, yeah. the other night. How do you feel about how that part of that position is going for you yeah. and some of the different things that you're asked to do in coverage now versus what you've done in the past? Um. I feel pretty confident in it. Um, I still feel like, you know, one of those two plays, I got to turn around and find the ball. Um, but, uh, yeah, I feel confident in it. You know, I feel like I can do a lot of things. And so when I'm called to be way back there, you know, I just got to make sure I do my job and do it, do it well. What's the toughest adjustment in that area been? Um, honestly, it's been the pass coverage, you know, situations like that, um, which is – I mean, when you're playing in the box, it, those situations are few and far in between, you know. Um, but uh, it's something that these coaches have helped me a lot with. Um, I just, 
even thinking about the play, I can just think about all the different coaching points that just went into that play and waiting for the hands and punching through. And so, um, honestly, the coaches have helped me a lot with that. So, What's your thoughts on TCU? Um, they're a great team, you know. Um, they're, they're looking really good this year. They're looking really, really good this year. Um, Max is a great quarterback. He's looking way, probably a little more athletic than he's looked in the past. Um, they got those big, stocky receivers. I mean, they're going to have a great offense. They're going to come in here and they're, or we're going to go over there and they're going to try to, they're going to try to put, you know, whatever they're going to try to put up on us. And so, um, I mean, most important thing is that we just come ready to play, ready to stop the run. That's where it starts. And, um, you know, everything else was just trickle from there. You've been in the league for a minute, so everybody's on a first name basis now. Yeah, that's kind of how it feels <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, Max. Yeah. How, how important are the linebackers in this one? We obviously, we saw the importance of them. On oh yeah. Night. Oh yeah. It's Very major, important. But. Very important. Um, I tell our guys all the time, like we're the heartbeat of the entire defense. Um, and so when we aren't on our A game, the defense is on our A game. And I really feel like that's what sort of happened Saturday night. We weren't sharp enough. Um, to be able to lead that group to a win. And so, uh, yeah, we just got to be better, you know. Um, we take sole ownership of when things are going good, so we got to take it when it's going bad, too. And so uh, we got to show up. Us three in the middle, we got to show up um, ready to play much better than we did Saturday. So. Thanks, John. I apologize if you've been asked about it already, but what surprised you most from a defensive standpoint about that one on Saturday? Um, just our lack of execution, you know, um, lack of physicality as well, our lack of tackling, um, mostly because those are things that we kind of pride ourselves on now. And so um, just our lack to get that done Saturday was really disappointing. And as, as a veteran leader on this team, how much of it this week is balancing, you know, looking at a performance that you guys weren't happy with, but, but yeah. knowing that it's, we're not even in October yet, you got a lot yeah. of money. No doubt. Um, obviously the game was disappointing. It's always disappointing to lose, but I think that the most important thing is that um, you can't sweep it under the rug. You got to learn from it, but at the same time, you got to you got to get rid of it and move on. So um, I think the coaches do a good job of, or they've done a good job today of like helping us do that. Um, we got in there, we watched a lot of the plays over so that we can get the corrections the right way, and then right after that, we put a you know kind of put a stop on it, got it out of the way, and let's move on. So. I'm sorry. You guys were pretty successful at putting losses behind you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, pretty similar, yeah. You can say that. Uh, <laughs> the meetings, yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, we just, I think in the past we did things sort of a little bit differently. But uh, just for everyone to be in, like the entire defense to be in the room at one time and for us to watch the film and kind of for everyone to hear, um, like, this is what you did wrong, uh, you got to do this better. Um, I think that's really good for everyone to hear and everyone to know. Um, it's just, it's almost one of those things like the better you know someone else's position, the better you can play your position. So, so previously it was just positions? Uh, yeah. When, when you went back and looked at uh, the, the game, you talk about the misfits and, and things like that. Yeah. Was that surprising to you? Like from where, how, how you felt immediately after the game? Can you say that one more time? How the defense, the, the fact that the, the fits weren't there, yeah. things like that. Was that surprising to you when you went back and watched the game versus maybe how you felt in the immediate aftermath? Um, no, I mean, we... So you had a good sense? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, they run QB lead zone and the quarterback's running with nobody touching them. You know somebody's not in their fit, you know. Um, so, I mean, yeah.